Calibration. If we're going to be measuring the reactivity of a patient, we have to be able to calibrate to that reactivity. And the reactivity of this patient is in the hundredth of a second range. So for us to be able to calibrate, we're going to have to have a system that's going to be able to measure in that hundredth of a second. How does the QXCI do that? In the calibration process, we have inside the system, we have the little test kit. And inside the test kit, there are a group of little test vials where there are 22 that are water, distilled water, the type of water we found that is the least reactive substance. Then there are four vials of a different type of highly reactive combination of an insecticide, mosquito venom, and white sugar. This white sugar is a very reactive substance. Mosquito venom is an almost universal allergen. And with this type of insecticide, the combination of DDT and others, we have what we found is the most universal reactive substance known, where compared to the least reactive substance known, the water. Now, we're going to start a little bit faster than this one hundredth of a second. We're going to go at about 102 times a second. And we're going to start calibrating and challenging this with the patient to see how accurately the patient reacts to this. If it fails in the first one, then we go to 101 of a second, going a little bit slower. And we check again. If it fails, we go down to 100th of a second until the computer calibrates. Now, you can see the computer making changes. Every time it's a change, it means that it's adding a different type of second. Now, within just a matter of 10, 20 seconds, the computer is going to be able to calibrate and tell us how accurate we are at being able to pick these items. If the person is not at least at a 75% accuracy, the system will say, I cannot calibrate to this patient. Normally, we're going to be able to do about an 85% accuracy with the system. If we tried to increase our accuracy with every patient, we're going to find that we just can't quite get beyond that. Sometimes we'll get a 95, 99%, but that can't be done with every patient. If we did, we're going to lose too many of them. Whereas now, when we have the 75% cutoff, we're going to find that we only lose maybe one patient in 50, meaning we can work in a day-to-day -day practice with our patients. So, this is how the system calibrates. It calibrates to the speed, then it's going to calibrate to the sensitivity by measuring the different voltage and amperage and by in being able to measure the sensitivity of the patient on the VAR hope. So this type of calibration is all done within 10, 20 seconds, done simply and easily, automatically by the computer because the human being can't perform at this level.